Hi, family. You know, I enjoy learning about people who have committed their lives to walking with God. In our current sermon series, we're learning from people of faith like Moses and Noah. And this coming Sunday, we're going to be learning from Abraham. But whether it is one of these or others that are mentioned in Scripture, or it's someone else who can be viewed as a pillar of faith like John Newton or Isaac Watts, Fanny Crosby, C.S. Lewis, or even Eric Liddell. They have all lived their lives experiencing the same tension we feel, the tension of living for God in an ungodly world. It's not always easy, is it? But as Shakespeare wrote in The Merchant of Venice, we realize that all that glitters is not gold. Yet there sometimes comes that strange attraction to it, that is when we lean all the more into Jesus and his spirit, relying on his strength and his power to help us overcome. So as we live with this tension in our lives, our level of pursuit of God ought to be raised to the level we claim our faith is. But we cannot become overconfident. We must humbly rely on Jesus and his spirit and give him room to direct us through. Today's song is entitled, O oh Jesus, I Have Promised. It is a song in which the singer is talking to Jesus about his or her commitment and living in the midst of this tension. I hope and pray this song provides for you a platform to recommit your resolve in following Jesus. There 
shall thy servant be. And Jesus, I have promised to serve thee to the end. Oh, give me grace to follow my master.